Green Bay was just ranked the number one best place to live by US News. This is an amazing honor for a city that has a lot of pretty awesome things going on right now. In this video, we're going to explore how US News rated Green Bay the number one best place to live. And did you know, Green Bay was also rated highly in a number of other categories as well. We'll take a look at everything that went into ranking Green Bay the number one best place to live. And I'll reveal those other areas Green Bay scored highly in right after this. Hello everybody, welcome back to Living in Green Bay. Green Bay just was given the honor of the number one best place to live by US News. In this video, I wanted to explore what all went into the analysis of giving Green Bay that number one rating. So if you're a skeptic out there, you can understand more where the details came from. Or if you're a prideful, excited person who's happy for Green Bay, you can add a little more information behind the number one rating. As a local real estate agent here in Green Bay, I'm not surprised that Green Bay ranks highly in these sorts of surveys. It has great cost of living. It is highly reviewed by the people I help who move here for its community feel, the pace of life, the amenities that kind of checks every box for daily living. Then on top of it, the beautiful scenery, the NFL franchise, and those other things you just can't get in every location in the US. The simplest way that I can describe US News ranking system is that it has a few key categories that are weighted differently. And then inside of those are sort of subcategories. What this analysis did was look at things like Green Bay's economy, its healthcare, its education, its quality of life, and things like that, and then give out the rankings. It uses these things it calls indexes. These indexes then are given weight based on a survey conducted in March of 2023 that asked people where they put their highest priorities when it comes to evaluating the place they would want to live. And then that weighted survey from the population is used to give weight to these different indexes. And I'll tell you how they all weighted out here right now. The top index is the quality of life index. And that one's rated at 36% of the total. And after all, who doesn't want a high quality of life? Inside of that, they evaluate things related to health, education, crime, and a number of other categories. The next index that they use is called the value index. And they rank that at 23%. This is one you've heard me talk about in the past on this channel when we've talked about things like the cost of living in Green Bay and other things related to maybe the housing market reports that I've shared and stuff like that. They use statistics from the different housing data, whether it be housing affordability or other affordability metrics. And then they compare some of those to national averages. The next category is the desirability index. and. As you can imagine, this is really exploring what people's opinions and preferences for a given community are. Now, how they get data for something that could be so subjective uh, is really curious to me. They use things like net migration data, weather related data, and this interesting data that they call establishments to population ratios. The last one that they used is the job market index. This was ranked as 19% of the total, and it evaluated the given metro area's job status. So looking at things like unemployment rates and the average salaries in a given community. Then after collecting all of this data in these given indexes, they use things called T-scores and Z-scores. And from all of that information, we get our total ratings. Green Bay received a total score of 6.9, and it ranked really highly in quality of life and value. And I think anyone who lives in the community would say that as well. To follow up this information, if you wanted to read more, I've linked the article that US News has posted, so you can find that in the description of this video. 
Well, leave your thoughts in the comment section below this video. I think it'd be cool to hear more opinions from you guys out there, whether you thought they maybe missed something or if you agree with wholeheartedly and wanna champion this award as the number one best place to live. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk all sorts of other things about living in Green Bay in future videos coming your way.